keep it rolling. Rolling. Do you think it will be possible to organize all the different groups like atheists, agnostics, free thinkers, secular humanists, brights, skeptics into one worldwide movement that is strong enough to influence politics? If yes, then how? Uh, probably not. Because... Uh... Why not? Why not? Well, like atheism, agnosticism, and stuff, I mean, though it's, they're not religious, there's nothing else that any of those groups of people should agree on, politically, or, you know, in, in case of civil rights or anything, uh, political structure, that it's kind of a, a grouping by exclusion. Um, kind of like reptiles. They're vertebrates that aren't birds or mammals type of thing. It's, a, it's not a rigid categorization. It's like categorization by exclusion. So, no, I don't think it would be possible to organize blah, 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 blah. Uh, besides, politics reflect uh, the masses ideally anyway so it i think it's efficient to, to 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 allow the culture to adopt a less religious stance and then the politics will follow the culture at least um at least in western style governments um so no i don't think it's possible uh Atheist Aaron asks me three questions. Fine, just because my name is Aaron as well. Uh, please fill in the blank. If I could, I would make everyone in the world fart. It would be funny. If you had a way to kill anyone you wanted, and it could never be traced to you, would you use this power? If so, who would you kill and why? I... As much as people... Some people irritate me, and as much as I disagree with people, I don't feel the need to kill anyone. I'm not falling to the dark side, Aaron, damn it. I'm not gonna do it. No, I, I don't think I would kill anybody. I can't. If I had the power, I probably would only use it in an, in an immediate self-defense form. Like, if I was being held at gunpoint... Uh, by a mugger or something, somebody trying to rob me, or, or somebody, you know, busting my house and trying to kill somebody that that I loved, then I would kill them, but it's in a protective role. I wouldn't just, you know, do it to, you know, change the world. It, no, oh, it would have to be in a self-defense type of uh, mode. Describe the world as you would make it. What is your utopia? Huh. <laughs> My utopia? That's hard. That is really, really hard. I don't think I have a utopian vision. The closest thing I have to a utopian vision is the same vision that Gene Roddenberry has of uh, people coming together and, you know, agreeing on stuff, doing stuff for the betterment of humanity. So I guess it would have to be a, a Star Trek type uh Star Trek type world would be would be a utopia for me, and and it's not perfect. I mean, I think the idea of utopia is is fundamentally flawed because people, by their nature, need to solve problems. It's what we do. If we don't solve problems, we get bored. We end up making problems that we have to solve. So there needs to be a certain amount of chaos in the universe in order for it to work properly. I mean, that's very broad, but you know, as far as poetically, I, I mean it. Um, we're not, we're not creatures of order, we are creatures of chaos. We have to be in a somewhat chaotic environment so that we can try to make it orderly, but we'll never completely make it orderly. So, uh, I guess my utopia would be something like, something like Star Trek. Uh, you notice there's never any word about religious, religion in the, the Star Trek universe? There was a couple of instances in the original series, but that was a reflection of the culture of the times. 
but uh, since like next generation on, not a word. Uh, apparently, humans shed religion in a few hundred years. Let's cross our fingers. Uh, done. Zucchini Escobar. What noise do penguins make? It depends on the species, but I think it's something like meh, 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 meh. Uh, King Kafir. Have Amazing Atheist and Fake Sagan gone insane, or were they always insane? Also, what's your favorite atheism video on YouTube? Uh, probably the, uh, the, the Atheist Paradise that, um, Ezra Nock made. It's probably my most favorite right now, anyway. A lot of production value in that. It was very... I, the chicken dance, particularly, cracks me up every time I see it. That's why I like it. Uh, have Amazing Atheist and Fake Satan gone insane? Uh, they're, they're eccentric. Both of them are eccentric. Uh, as far as... Uh, are they insane? I don't think they're full-blown insane, though uh, they're belligerent, antagonistic. Uh, I think the Amazing Atheist is a bit of a narcissist, and uh, Fake Sagan, nah, he just likes pushing people's button because he finds it amusing, uh, but they're not insane. And each of them have the have their place. Uh, Maxicali, three favorite atheists on YouTube, and why is the Amazing Atheist so awesome? Well, I'll just disagree, and I don't think the Amazing Atheist is a is that awesome. In fact, uh, in real life, I would probably find him quite irritating, and just bark at him to shut up. But he's got like you know 150 pounds on me. But I'm positive I could outrun him. Uh, three favorite atheists on YouTube. We, we've had discussions like this before, and it's always hard naming, uh, narrowing it down. But I'll uh, maybe I'll nominate uh, three different archetypes that I like represented by people. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I like uh, Web. Yeah, Web Snarf. I like. He's a very uh, logical, low-key uh, mathematician, the mathematician type, atheist, nothing, you know, everything's sensible, none of that, you know, crappy melodrama going on. Um, seems like a real nice guy. Who else? Uh, probably have to edit the hell out of this. Uh, Paul Dolman, he's another one. Not afraid to to open up uncomfortable subjects for discussion, and he always comes across as being polite and respectful. I think a lot of times I can come across as being dismissive when I don't mean to be, and that that's um, that angers uh, people I'm having a discussion with. And I, I wish I could be a little bit more. Um, a little bit more respectful when uh, when communicating, especially in text. I, I speak bluntly, but you can tell by my tone of voice and facial expressions that I, you know, I don't mean offense by it. But when I when I type out things, sometimes it can seem short, blunt, and like I'm being rude when in fact no 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 offense is is meant. So, um, so I wish I was a little bit more, I would just come across naturally as being more respectful, kind of like, uh, Paul Dolman. And a third. Crap, 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 crap. Uh, Golden Cobalt. I don't think he's made a lot of videos recently. I think he might be taking a little bit of a, a breather. But he just comes across as one of those real chill guys. Like, nothing bothers him. He's just so smooth and chill. And, uh, I can, <laughs> I've got that hun temper, uh, it's a joke in my family that my mom's a direct descendant of Attila, she's got that temper, and I've, I've got it too, I've got a really long fuse, but, ooh, 
Oh, I can get to the point where I could kill somebody with my bare hands. I don't like being like that. So I just, I wish I was a little bit more chill, like Golden Cobalt. Ten minutes again! Fuck!